Michelle, you were fantastic in this film. Thank you. I thought it was, you, you choose your projects very carefully, which is of course a good thing when you're an actress, but what was it about this movie in particular that drew you in? Well, the part it scared me actually a lot, which is I think a good thing. Um, um, it means you're sort of, you know, in unfamiliar territory and unsure of yourself and, and um, I think you know, sometimes really interesting things come out of that. And I really just love the writing and um, the story and, um, you know, and then I met with Alex, uh, the director, and then I discovered that it was actually his story. And, um, and I was really so honored that he sort of felt like he could trust me, you know, to bring this character to life. Obviously, it's a, you know such a pivotal person in his life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And so much of your wonderful scenes are with Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, as such an established actress, what do you what do you make of, of Chris Pine? What was it like working He's, with him? I tell you, boy, he really, you better be on your toes when you are working with Chris because he, he just comes at it full steam ahead and he's so prepared and, you know, he just has a, um, you know, I remember when I worked with Sean Connery, and he, when when Sean Connery walked into a room, there was just this presence about him that was just sort of, and Chris has that, you know, he just, mm -hmm. um, and he's really, you know, he knows his craft, he, he just doesn't kind of, you know, get up and mumble the lines, I mean, he's really thoughtful, he's really smart about it, he knows exactly what he's doing, and um, he's just, he can do anything. He can do drama, comedy. He can do it all. He can do it all. Um, it's so interesting, even though you know we didn't see your husband in the film, he was obviously such a presence. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that, it's just interesting that I think it was set in LA and sort of the music industry, how it focused on, on maybe the morals about it. Um, what was your take on, on all of that? Well, I mean, I think it really speaks more to a specific kind of person. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, I mean, you could find that person really in any town, in any business, you know, it's just a kind of very, very magnetic, charismatic, you know, genius man whose flip side is, you know, probably kind of selfish and narcissistic and, um, controlling. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, so would I want to be married to him? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure I too would be captivated by his charm. <laughs> hey, me too. Trust me, if you saw my my string of exes, I think so. <laughs> well, literally in the past week, um, I watched you in Scarface. I watched you in One Fine Day. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it was a really good weekend. I'm just curious. Do you, when you're ever flipping through, you know, TV channels, do you ever catch yourself and watch yourself on TV? No. No. Never. Never? I can't change the channel fast enough. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't I just don't like watching I just don't like watching myself. Well, you're fantastic. Um as you know, Catwoman's also something that I always attribute Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. What do you think about uh, Anne Hathaway in the new role? I think she's gonna be terrific. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. I've loved all I've loved every Catwoman, played by everyone, and I'm a huge fan of hers and so I'm really Looking forward to seeing what she does. Amazing. And how she wheels that whip. 